Chapter 5 News and a Shower Her thoughts were broken by the sound of fist pounding at her door. She looked up at the door as a young woman's voice called through it. Anastasia, you feeling okay today? <sighs> yeah, I'm just a bit tired as all, Sarah. Well, come on out, girl. Time's a-wasting. There's big news. All right. Just a second. I'll be right out. Anastasia stood slowly up off her bed, then rushed in changing her clothes while light pink flames swirled in her hair, placing it in a ponytail. She ran across the room to the door, but stopped, looking at the chair in which Phoenix had sat the night before. A small, deep red feather laid on the seat, its edges black. She hesitated, but picked it up anyway and placed it in her back pocket. Her training helped her that day. To everyone around her, she seemed her normal self. But inside, she was torn. Torn between the world she grew up in and a world that was shown to her through Phoenix's memory. She knew it was very painful for him to relive by telling her, but he did so anyway, and this confused her even more so. The big news of that day was the presenting of Agent Frank's new human. It was considered a very wealthy one, whose family was in the fossil fuel business. It was also the top leader of the human's most powerful nation, even for their standards, it was a simpleton, so Agent Frank would have no problems influencing it. Anastasia went back to her quarters that evening, tired from the show she had to put on for everyone that day. Tears were already forming in her eyes by the time she was in front of her door. She walked into a clean room, everything in its proper place and a hint of lilac in the air. Her shower was also being used by someone. She spoke in a calm but stern voice. Hello? Is someone in there? The shower turned off and the curtain was heard opening, but no reply. She crept up to the bathroom door, not knowing what or who to expect. She called out again. Hello? Is someone in there? The bathroom door opened, releasing a large amount of steam, revealing an empty room. Anastasia stepped into the bathroom, inspecting it closer. The shower had, in fact, just been used. The floor was still wet from the occupant's exit. She turned back to her room, finding Phoenix sitting in her computer chair once more. His hair wet. I came by to see if you had heard about the human side to Agent Frank today. Um, yes, I did, but how did you hear about it and how did you get in here again? I have my ways of finding out what happens here, and I got in the same way I did last time. Though I had to wait for you to come back, so I cleaned up a bit. I hope you don't mind. No, not at all, but why a shower? I worked up a sweat cleaning. Would you rather me smelly? Phoenix held his fingers to his nose, sticking his tongue out in disgust. Why do you keep showing up in my room? You know you run the high risk of getting caught. Not sure why, but when I am here, I feel the peace of not looking over my shoulder. So, you just come to see me because you think this will be the last place they'll look for you? Anger tingling Anastasia's voice as she gave Phoenix a harsh look. No, nothing like that at all. Relief danced across Anastasia's face from his reassurance. She sat down on her now tidy bed and stretched out. Phoenix stood up from the chair, stretching his arms above his head. Sighing deeply, he went to bow to her once more when she spoke up. Are you leaving so soon? Yes, yeah, not like you won't get in trouble if they catch me here. Phoenix stretched his four large wings out and folded them around his body. A cloud of red smoke removed him from the room. Anastasia fell back onto her bed, her hands on her head, as she closed her eyes.